Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. A quick look at my growing garden. It is cold out today. It's growing. Look at these squash. They are huge. Anyway, good morning and welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday and it is the middle of the growing season and we are being surrounded by grass and weeds and anything you can imagine. We've been working a lot lately. I haven't been showing it in the videos because who wants to see me working? But we have been working. The garden alone, it takes me hours every single day. It takes me two hours to water that sucker. Two hours. I to check in my kitty food. Make sure that they have what they need. Oops. Welcome to today. Gabby's still sleeping. I think we have rules about when she has to be down at the farm. I feel like she may be pushing the rules. Hi. She will show up, you guys. I have faith in her. Gabby? Yeah. I don't have faith in her. You don't have faith in her? Why? Because. Because why? She might forget. No, she'll never forget. She went to bed late last night, though. And it's funny because you're either a morning person or a night person. And Gabby is a night owl, same as Sam. There you go. Where's Ruby? Look at this big girl. Look how smart she is. Yeah, that's a big dog too. So anyway, I wanted to just point out something that some of you guys are probably not, probably wouldn't know unless you were local to us. But for the most part, everywhere we go with our dogs and anybody who knows us and knows our dogs always tells us how shocked they are at how well behaved our dogs are, how well trained they are, how well they listen, how good they are. Like that's a huge thing. So and, we falling yesterday. and not everybody knows that because you guys just see little tiny tidbits of our life. So I just wanted to tell you guys that that, that, that happens, that, that that's, that's who we are in real life. We always have well behaved dogs. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> We always have well-trained dogs. We have dogs that listen. We have dogs that don't just go running off when they see another animal and... Oh, Daisy chases birds all the time. <laughs> well, Daisy chases birds, but not when she's on a leash and not when we're in public. Should they listen. They all listen really well. And we, I, some of you guys don't know, and I hate saying all this stuff, but some of you guys don't know, we worked for our shelter for a lot of years, rehabilitating damaged dogs, puppy mill dogs. We always had pregnant dogs that didn't do well in a shelter situation. Situation. We've attended so many dog births. We've rehomed so many dogs um, under our humane society with the criteria of home visits and um, and checking potential new owners and like we're familiar with all the stuff. It's just that yeah. I yeah I don't share that side of us and I don't spend all my time saying hey I know what I'm doing I know what we know how to take care of dogs because. Dad I was supposed to wake me up for Cookie to give birth. Because I want to share a more casual side of us. I want to share a more softer side of us so that people feel included. I want to create our channel to be an inclusive channel. And sometimes when you're harsh and you're and you only share like a harsher side of you and your belief system, then it eliminates some people from being a part of your journey. And I, I don't want to do that. And it might be hard for you to understand what I'm saying, but I choose to share a softer side of us, a more accepting side of us, a more middle line side of us. I could go out there and be like some other people and be like, you do not deserve to have a dog unless you blah, 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 but I don't do that. And, and when I share the stuff that we do, I don't go out of my way to share a specific viewpoint, a specific training point, a specific whatever. I share a, a, a quieter, more inclusive side of me us and a lot of you guys that are more intense and a lot of you guys who are more strict find problems with that because you think that I don't we don't because you think that we are forgetting stuff we're forgetting the basis the basics you were forgetting a lot of stuff but I guarantee you that we do know all that stuff that we've worked in the industry like we've worked with the with the rescue industry like we know how to do all that stuff we know the whole entire routine we know about rehabbing we know about releasing we know about all that stuff but I want people who don't know about that stuff and I want people who do things differently to feel included in our channel so I don't want to only present one way and one side of myself I want to be more soft and more thirsty <laughs> anyway 
I know not everybody will see this and there will always be more questions and stuff and I understand that and that's okay. But that's why we choose to show the side of us that we choose to show. I love when dogs put their butts up in the air like that. Oh, you missed it. You guys, later today I'm going to show you what Penny and I do every night. Today's going to be about me and Penny. I'm, you're going to be shocked what happens at night with me and Penny. Like, it's the most beautiful, unbelievable thing you've ever seen. What do you do with Penny? I'll do something with Penny at night. All right. Come on, Miss Penny. It's your turn. We'll be back for you, Gracie. Your girl didn't show up. Yeah, I had faith in her and she didn't show up. That means big trouble. So we've been putting the horses in the second field. But Sam does not have the water system hooked up. Usually he hooks up a water system so I can fill the water bucket. But I can't today until he comes home. So they're going to have to go back in this one. Okay, so I don't know if I can do this with one hand on the camera. Hey, so this is right. Wait, she's, she's super a. Hey. Oh, she's just gonna walk out of it. You're bad. You're, you're making me look bad, Penny. Uh oh. So she's gonna redo it. She's mad now. So basically, this is what Sophie wants me to do every day, and I've been doing it. But there are just some times. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, that's what she does with me. Aww. Hey, I did not say you could go yet. <laughs> so she just walks backwards. There we go. Good girl. Yeah. So usually Sam does chores in the morning when he's home. When he's not home, I do the chores. But usually he, like every season, he sets up a hose that goes all the way down so that if I need to fill the water, then I can fill the water. But he did not do that. <laughs> and I don't know where his hose is. I don't know how he does it. He's got some crazy adapters. He's got like all the stuff. And because I don't know how to do it, girls have to go in this field until I call him and say, hey, where's all the stuff? Right, girlfriend. You have to listen. So one thing about Gracie is that she does this thing where she does a victory lap every day when we let her out. She might not do it today, but we'll see. Yeah, especially when it's cold out. Hello, pretty princess. All right. See if she does it. Every time I video it, like have the camera here, she doesn't do it. Dude, it's too hot. Figures. Just when I want them to see your victory lap, Gracie. I know. They're like, this is not our field. There's lots of grass here still for them, especially up there by the shelter. Sugary grass. This has the more short sugary grass, which I don't like them to eat all that. But there's lots of grass in here. But Willow definitely likes, wants to go. She loves to stand in the middle of the really high grass and eat. That's her thing. That would be me too. All is good in the day by day mare field for now. All day. I've been trying to sign the girls up for this show. The show is, is that we're going to really soon is like a big show. It's a bigger show in a different city. Right now we show at schooling shows in a small town and we're branching out, you guys, branching out into a, I got Mal, I got Ruby here. We're branching out into a big city. We're branching out to like A level shows and we're branching out and it's rocket science. It's taking me, I keep messaging Fiona. What do I put here? What do I put there? You have to fill out this entire whole program to enter one person into the show. Like it's, it's nuts. It's nuts, but they have this really cool opportunity where I signed up. It's $5, $5.65 for each kid. And they text you when your time to go is. They text you like the schedule. They text you like real time if the schedule changes. They text you all the stuff. Like it's it's amazing. So I paid for that. I'm like, we're gonna have that. But anyway. So it's just wanted to tell you guys, like that's what I've been doing all day. The girls are still doing school and I've been struggling with this show thing. But I am gonna figure it out. If my kids are gonna continue to show horses, then I'm gonna have to figure it out. But I just wanna tell you guys that are setting up horse stuff for, for people. Do it really simple. Just let them come yeah, to the show, really give you the their name and what they're showing and then pay. That's the easiest way, it's so difficult. It, it took me the whole day to sign up for the show, but I did it. I, first you have to create your own account, then you have to add the riders, then you have to add the horses, then you have to sign them up for the shows, and you have to add your trainer. Like, 
then you have to add your on your insurance number like we have insurance for our horse shows uh, each kid has a different number and it just was so involved in so much work but now that I have everything all set up the next time we want to go to that show it'll all be there and I just have to click through it and it'll be a lot easier so yeah it was worth it and I'm excited like imagine for all those people that are like true horse people that go to all the a shows and like live there practically for the whole season of a friend that does that I can't even imagine what it would be like she told me that her coach signs everybody up yeah that would be a lot easier let me tell you I always get pecan pecan Turtles? Pecan turtles. Pecan turtle supreme. Sam always gets Reese's. So you got Reese's? You got nothing? Gabby got Reese's and Sophie got cookie dough. Comment below what your favorite flavor at your ice cream store is so that I can try something new and something different next time we come. Drama at the D Dairy Queen. Sam, Sam, she handed him all three and we ordered three different kinds and he's like, okay, which one is which? And she's like, I don't know. I didn't make them. <laughs> We're like, Okay. What's happening? She just threw herself on the ground right in yeah, front of me. Going. You can't catch me. Hey, Bonnie. Nice one. She's like, wait, I didn't get to roll from my desk. You should have went and laid beside her. Did you guys know that when a horse rolls and stands up and shakes, that's how you know it's not colic? So always look for the shake. So this is why I wanted to show you guys that the girls are here and it's different when they're here. The horses act different when the girls are here. But they're done on the grass for today. It's time for resting. Are you going to pick her chestnuts? Well, they're the cat meow. So basically, what happens every single day is I come in and I take off her halter. Look. Good girl, yeah. Good girl, yeah. There we go. See, she's a fast learner. And then uh, usually everybody leaves and then it's just me and Penny. And this is the time, she's different with the camera. Let me put it away. And then Penny and I have like this time together that's amazing and I never get it. And I want you guys to see what happens when I sing to her because she has this insane reaction. Oh, here you are. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the back
They're all, they're all napping. They're all ready to nap. Anyway, whenever I want to show you guys, I can never induce the situation. It has to be like always super genuine. And it has to be just me. Then we started off our time together with Penny frustrated. Anyway, usually if I'm walking her or if we're by ourselves and it's really calm and it's really quiet and I start to sing to her, her whole body drops to the ground and she just gets so peaceful and... I guess you have to be there to really feel it, but I didn't feel it today. Today she was upset. Like you could tell that she was, I could feel that she was frustrated, if that makes sense. Huh. See, I told you I'd get you a treat. And you too. Here, here, Minnie. Here, hurry up. Here she comes. Minnie. Ah. There you go. You meanie. Right, it's swimming time on the day by day farm. Is it cold? No, it's hot. So it's almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> looks darker, it looks greener in the camera. It's not though. 71 degrees of freezingness. Push it. Push her. All right, that is it for today's video. I promise tomorrow will be more exciting. I got the mat out. We got the pool set up. I'm gonna dump some more chemicals into it when Sophie is done. And our pool area is kind of set up again. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you can. Don't you know that you're